So here I'm going to look at the update query and that can be used for a number of different things. In some ways it can be a bit like a find and replace. So let's say for example I've got an item here, let's call it the rogue is now going to change it to a new name, we're going to call it the scoundrel and let's say we've got a whole load of entries in our database, we could use the update query to go through, find all the rogue ones and change it. This can be used for so many different things such as when area codes change you can get it to just change the area code in parts of a field so you can use that by using functions and things like that but we're going to keep it a bit simple here. The other thing you could do is you could go through and say that all of these costs are going to go up by say 10% and we're going to take a look at both of those and we have to create a query for that. So I'm just going to click here, I'm on my create tab here in 2010 um, very similar in 2007 and 2013. If you're using an older version like 2003, you have to be in the Queries tab and then you just need to choose New Query. So I'm just going to choose that. I need to add my table, which is the price list. Now I'm just going to click on Close for that and move my Query Grid up here. I've got my price list open here. Um, in this particular version, it will update when I make the change, but in others, if you've got the table open at the same time, you won't see the updates unless you refresh. So I'm just going to add in the item and the cost. I've just double clicked on both of those and I'm going to change it to an update query. So the criteria is kind of like your find and replace. We're going to do that rogue thing first and I'm going to update it to the scoundrel. Okay, just for something different. And as I said, you might have loads of these. So it could be postcodes, it could be all sorts of codes, anything you like could change. So I've done that. There's my criteria. And again, you could be using wildcards like asterisks and so on to make those changes and to select particular things in there as well. So I could have, if I was very clever, the zoom and the zoom too, if they had changed their name and it was going to be something else like a close-up and a close-up too, just for an example. I could have been very clever and changed it in here using this. So let's choose Run. And it tells me it's going to update one row. Remember, just like so many other queries, you can't undo the this once you click on Yes. So if in doubt, click on No. Remember, always keep a backup of your data, particularly if you're doing this for the first time or if you're not very familiar or a bit unsure. I'm going to click on Yes. I'm going to go to the price list. There it is, there's the scoundrel has changed. So I'm going to go back to my query. Now one of the things I could do, I'm just going to delete both of those. I could choose in my query just to change, say, the zoom ones. So I could do zoom and an asterisk and I'm going to make them all go up by 10%, which is multiplying it by 1.1. So I am going to tell it that the cost which is going to be a square bracket and closing a square bracket indicates the field. That's the same name as up here. And I'm going to multiply it by 1.1. Okay, so only the zooms are going to go up by 10%. Quick look just to remind us, £900 for that, £1,100 for that. Let's go back to my query. Hit run. It tells me I'm going to update two rows. Don't forget if you're not sure, hit no. I'm going to click on yes. So let me take a look at my price list. You can see both of those, that was 900 before, that was 1100, both gone up by 10%. So if it hadn't updated here, you might just need to click on your refresh button here, which would refresh it. Okay, so that is how you can use update queries and for so many different things using Access.